Hello everyone, um, and welcome back to another video I'm making today. I actually had a different song stuck in my head quite a little while ago, about a year or two now, and it's called uh, Secrets of Wisteria. I think it used to be called Willows of Wisteria, but when I looked it up this time it was Secrets. So the song is actually quite a dark song, and it has quite the backstory. If you care to listen to it, um, I would, because it's a very good song. It gets stuck in your head quite easily, but I do recommend, um, if you're going to dive deeper into the story behind the art and behind the video, that you are not of the faint of heart and that you're in a good space, uh, mentally when you do it, because it is quite a dark story, um, of a serial killer back in, oh gosh, the 1910s, I think? Um, but it can be quite a dark story, so I just wanted to let you guys know that before you go and research it out. The drawing I did is actually a modification of one of the drawings in the video, um, which is the, um, a girl standing behind this wall with this shadow coming up, um, behind the wall. And I did it so that the little girl won, basically. So she's killed him before he could kill her. And so um, I did make it a little creepier because obviously his shadow is smiling and he still has the axe. He's still able to move. But I, I just really wanted, like, I don't know if justice is the word I'd call it. But I wanted her to be, like, the one who survived. And so I just really like drawing creepy art like this too. It's uh, really you know, one of the things I've done for quite a while now. Um, I even had an artwork back in, oh gosh, eighth grade maybe, um, that I drew from another Vocaloid song. Um, and it was, if you know the song, I won't spoil it, but it's this girl getting decapitated. Um, well, it's her shadow getting decapitated. And it was just one of the songs I really liked to listen to when I was younger, <laughs> and so I've always kind of liked the the drawing gory things and not being afraid to be like, yeah, I like to draw this, like, it doesn't make me weird or a crazy person. We're all a little bit morbidly curious, and so uh, I made her knife backwards first, and I did not like that at all, so I was like, no, she has to hold it more naturally. So I, I do it again, and I was like, wait, what does the kitchen knife look like? So I had to look it up and drew, draw it a third time just to get, just to make sure it looked like something that, you know, what it was supposed to look like. And I didn't look up a reference for the hatchet or the axe. I'm not really sure the difference, but I think it looks pretty good, <laughs> which I'm happy about. Now in the original, the girl is all white except her skin. So she has a black face and black arms and black legs, and then her dress and hair are white. And um, all, all, I think of the video is in black and white, so it really, um, really contrasted her against the wall and his dark shadow, and I really, really like that aesthetic, so I decided to keep it. I made her knife black except for where the blood is going to be on it, because I thought that that would be better. I had to put a sheet of paper under it again, like I did on my last video, because I was going to use Sharpie. And like I said, I didn't want the Sharpie to bleed onto the next page. So I had to put a paper under there just to make sure that didn't happen. Right now I'm debating if I should color in the axe black or not. Um, I actually debated this for quite a while, but then I, de I decided um, that since her knife is black, that his knife, or his, what am I even saying, his axe should also be black, but I wanted the, um, the metal of the axe to be white, just because I wanted a little bit of contrast, so you could tell what he was holding. Now, um, I did enjoy this art a lot. Um, it's been a while since I've used Sharpie. Obviously, I used Sharpie in the last video, but this was uh, trying to be more creative with 
um, the outlines and the negative space for the blood and just making it big enough to um, be recognizable that there was like a, a spot of blood there that the drips make sense. And so it was really interesting to do that. Um, I got a little close on the paper and the Sharpie, uh, you know, it can um, make you lightheaded quite easily because of its strong scent and so I got a little bit lightheaded when I was drawing this but other than that I, I I quite enjoy working with sharpies sometimes you can see the lines of the marker quite easily um, but I feel like I don't really care about that and so when I was making my blood drops and trying to go around them, I decided that I'd made some too close and some just too small for the Sharpie to be seen really through them. So I had to just completely redo some of them and made some other ones so that it wouldn't seem so placed. You know, it seemed more random, which was a little hard to do, but um, I did end up being very happy with the end result of what came out of it. Um, the there is a circle around them that is black. I think in the original video it's like hatched and so I wanted to kind of do the same thing but I really wanted there to be a roundness to the shadow behind them and so I did a lot of streaks around them. You'll see it later and it's like it hurt my hand <laughs> during um, this process my hand hurt quite a bit. I think it's just because I was so worried to mess this up because it's a song that I'd really liked for quite a while and I wanted to do it some justice and so it was a little harder on my hand to just fully get it done. Now you see I had a little bit of trouble with my storage on my camera so I ran out of storage a midway through and so this was after I modified the shadow because I wanted it to look like this is a shadow not a person upside down <laughs> so I made uh, quite a few lines um, around his silhouette just to make it look more like a shadow and so and demonted even maybe and so I really do like the way that this turned out and I hope that you do too um, I don't know how many more like sinister drawings I'll do on this channel just because I feel people don't really enjoy them as much as I do but if you do please let me know and I will continue thank you